In this video, I'm going to be discussing all of the Hasbro reveals for Triple Force Friday with some extra merch that wasn't shown on the Pinewood Studios live stream. <laughs> hey there, Star Wars collectors, and welcome to another Box Bounty video. As mentioned in the intro, and I'm sure you're already aware, Hasbro revealed most of the merchandise that will be available on Triple Force Friday in a live stream from Pinewood Studios. However, they didn't show everything, and in this video, I'm gonna be going through all of the images that were kindly sent to me by the guys at Hasbro and let you know my thoughts. So let's get into it, and don't forget to drop a like on this video and subscribe if you're new to the channel. Oh, and near the end of the video, there's some good news for, some, for the fans of the 5POA movie line, so stay tuned until the end. Okay, so let's get started with the vintage collection first. So we have the high res images of all the carded figures to go through. So I'm just gonna bung those up on screen now. And all of these are gonna be available on Triple Force Friday, but of course, some of you lucky people in the US and Canada have already managed to snag these early. So props to you if you've already got these into your hands. I'm really, really jealous. Now I'm particularly looking forward to the Knights of Ren. And what is interesting to me about this guy is that in the press release, they call him the Knight of Ren long axe so they've got long axe in brackets now which this suggests to me that somewhere in their plans that they're already thinking about creating some more of these you know i think there's five others i think there's six in total and we do have an image of a figurine set that's been produced for the disney parks which does have all of them so i kind of think that hasbro are going to sort of follow suit with this they might not produce them all but it'd be nice to get maybe one or two of the others uh, in the vintage collection, maybe in the next wave or so. The Sith Jet Trooper has grown on me. I really do like the look of it and probably get a couple of these to, you know, create a mini army. And of course, the Luke Skywalker X-Wing Pilot and Poe Dameron are must gets if you're planning on buying the X-Wing ships to go with them. So we already have seen the leaked images of the Poe Dameron X-Wing, but it wasn't until the press release dropped that we got to see Luke Skywalker's Red 5 X-Wing, which looks awesome. So this is a definite day one purchase for me. I already have the uh, Luke Skywalker loose from the Jedi Destiny 3 pack. So I just need to buy one carded figure to have the new figure on a card. And then I can use my loose one to go with this amazing X-Wing. So I do really like the box art of this one. Uh, and then obviously we've also got the Poe Dameron orange X-Wing as well, which I'm not as keen on compared to the Luke's one, but I'll probably still end up getting it. Now, talking of day one purchases and vehicles, we also got to see the AT-ST Raider from the Mandalorian, which again, just looks fantastic to me. So I really do think that Hasbro are up in their game when it comes to the vintage collection vehicles and the detail and work that's going into them. So this one, you also get a figure included, which is a Clatoonian Raider, am I saying that right? Clatoonian? Anyway. It's the same species as Barada and Kithaba. Um, he just looks fantastic to me. Again, amazing details. Cannot wait to get my hands on this one. It's also our first chance to see what the Mandalorian logo will look like on a vintage collection packaging. So I really can't wait for more from Mandalorian. And from what I've seen of the show, it looks like it's going to be a real hit, especially with the OT fans. In fact, I saw a small interview with Jon Favreau where... He was kind of saying that a lot of what they've based on in the show is is kind of like based on the toys that we were playing with um, <laughs> that when we were growing up. So for him to say that, you know, I cannot wait to see this show and I've got full confidence that it's going to be amazing. It's already been commissioned for series two, so they must like it down at Disney. Moving on to the Black series, and we have the wave that pretty much all of you guys would have seen already but I will just quickly put them up on screen so you can take another look. Uh, so we have figures from The Rise of Skywalker, The Mandalorian, and The Jedi Fallen Order video game in this wave. But we also got to see some other figures uh, such as Cara Dune from The Mandalorian, which looks very nice indeed. So she's these images were, again, part of the um, press release pack. And we have also got some other figures, including some exclusives. So 
First up, we have the First Order Elite Snow Trooper, which will be a target exclusive. We have Jana from The Rise of Skywalker. I think she's just going to be a regular, regular release. Uh, we have the Purge Stormtrooper from the Jedi Fallen Order video game, which looks like it will be a GameStop exclusive. And then we have all of the carbonized figures, which are exclusive to Walmart. Now, I'm not too sure what to make of these. I know some collectors will absolutely love them, especially inbox collectors. Uh, but then I think other collectors will just think, you know, it's more money to find buying potentially three of one figure that's painted slightly differently. Now, I mainly buy the vintage collection. So when it comes to the black series, I only kind of buy the main character or exceptional figures from the original trilogy. So, for example, the one that I will definitely be picking up on Triple Force Friday will be the Mandalorian himself. But that's because I'm going to just open it. You know, I'm not an inbox collector when it comes to the Black Series. I want to open him, so I'll be quite happy with that standard red and black box release. Now, as mentioned at the beginning of the video, we do have news of the 5POA movie line. So, again, not too sure what to make of this, but I'm pretty sure that a lot of you were, that were disappointed that the news of the movie line 5POA were kind of being cancelled and replaced with the uh, is it Galaxy of Adventures line. This is good news for you guys because it looks like there's going to be a release of four inch, so three and three quarter inch value figures at $2.99 each. Now we haven't seen images of these yet, but at that price point, I'm not, you know, I don't have any idea what to expect. They could be awful, really bad quality. But then again, this is kind of what I wanted to happen. You know, I wanted Hasbro to pour more effort into the vintage collection and the black series and have those as like their main lines but still keep the 5 POA, but just not flood the stores with, you know, figures that are going to be unsellable in six months time, like Hux and Rose Tico and things like that. But at a 2.99 price point, this is going to be absolutely amazing for, you know, the kids just going in with their parents, picking up a figure for 2.99 or maybe three or four figures. But as I said, we're yet to see exactly who's going to be in this line and what they're going to look like. We also have the Skywalker Saga line of 3.75 inch figures. These are the ones that are painted all in gold. Now again, I'm not too sure what to think of these. I think, you know, they're just for the collector and I'm, I'm hoping that this is gonna be it. Just one wave of these gold figures because to me, I, I can't really see anyone sort of opening these and playing them with as figures. They're just more of like a, a collector's thing in the package. Now I'm not gonna rush out to get these, but if, you know, if I stumble across them, then I might pick up I might pick up the wave, but I, I don't know. I'm not too concerned in getting these. Now, we also do have images of all of the Galaxies of Adventures things. These aren't things that I'm too interested in, so I'm just going to bung up the images for you now. I haven't really got too much to say about them, apart from that I really won't be buying them, and they're basically for kids. Um, some of them actually looking pretty good. Uh, the droids one here isn't looking too bad. But again, you know, I'm more interested in the vintage collection and, and some of the black series. So this sort of thing isn't for me, really. Anyway, guys, that's enough for this video. I hope you like the images that we've shown you. That's just my thoughts on what's coming. I cannot wait for Triple Force Friday, which is next Friday, a week today. Let's see what I can get on that day. Who knows? I don't know if any of the UK shops are even taking part in it, but we'll see what we can get. And of course, I'll be reviewing anything that I do get on this channel. So be sure to pop back and check them out. All right then guys, thank you very much for watching. Don't forget to drop a like on this video and we shall see you on the next one.